Hi there Elements users, this is a tutorial just for you. This tutorial is going to show you how to take advantage of the pressure sensitive brushes that you have with your Wacom tablet and Photoshop Elements. I'm using Elements 5, but it's pretty much the same for the previous versions as well. This is how you set up your tablet options. It's across the top and it's, a, it's working when you've got a brush set. So you can change the tablet option for size, opacity, scatter, roundness, and hue jitter. The ones you use most often, I suspect, are going to be the size and the opacity because they're the ones you're going to use with uh, photo editing. If you're going to be doing some artwork of drawing or painting or stuff, you'll probably be doing the other ones. You'll, you may make use of them. So let's get started on this and I'll show you how this works. It's really quite cool. So the first one I'm going to set up is size. And what size means is the harder you press, the bigger your brush gets. So this is my brush size. That's a pretty big brush size. But if I go, whoa, size turned itself off. Isn't that nasty? OK, so let's get rid of it. OK, now, there we go. So I press harder, it gets thicker, up to the maximum brush size I've set. So that's size. Now I go up to my options again and I get opacity and opacity is this. And you notice how smoothly and nicely this tablet works. It's so beautiful to use. Once you get one of these you can never go back to a mouse for your Photoshop work, that's for sure. So that's opacity. And I'm going to clean that off and I'm going to turn on both size and opacity. So now I've got a very faint line and I can press harder and harder and it gets thicker and it gets darker. So that's the size and opacity settings and how you use them. Now we'll move on to the other ones. The other ones are kind of strange so I'm going to stop for a minute, change some things around here and we'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Now this time I am, I'm, the, the setting I've chosen is scatter. Okay, so I've got this neat little brush. You can see it's a little butterfly. So I press light, all these little colorful butterflies are flying around here. So I press harder, put more pressure on them, they fly off in all kinds of different directions. And there they go. And you can see if I kept going I'd completely fill this, uh, this, this little document here with colorful little butterflies. And then we could do all kinds of strange things with them as well. Especially under the filters. You can turn this into a, um, oh, what do they call it? can't remember what they call it, but I'll show you later. So, there. That's kind of neat. If I want to add in size, then we get little tiny butterflies. As we press harder, they fly away. So that's the uh, scattering option. The next one is roundness. So when I start off with light pressure... Oh, jeez, look at that, huh? Roundness, okay. Yeah, it's turned on, okay. There we go, that's what it's supposed to do. As I press harder, it gets rounder and rounder and rounder and rounder. So you can start off light and make it... And I will leave that up to the artistic among us to figure out what to do with this one, because I don't think I would ever use it. But, you know, it's there, it's an option. Use it and have fun with it. There. That's roundness. The last one is Hue Jitter. So I've got that set for Hue Jitter and under the More Options, which which is this palette here. And you can change the Fade, Hue Jitter, whoops, that's not what I want to do, Scatter, Spacing, Angle, Roundness, Hardness of your brush. You can change all those things there. It's right beside the Tablet Options. So what we'll do is get over here and... In uh, Photoshop, this is usually called other di or color dynamics. Starts with the foreground or the background goes to the foreground. This one it does this. We can also change things around. We can scatter it too. So let's scatter it around a bit here. Looks like I'm making some wild and crazy balloons or something. And that's kind of cool. Uh, I've got an awfully big brush, so I'm going to change it down a bit and try something different. Uh, scatter and spacing. We'll change the spacing as well. 
now we got little tiny balloons so that's how you set these uh, the brushes to use the pressure sensitivity of your tablet and it's really quite neat and a lot of fun and you can do some crazy things with these colored ones and you can do some very very good stuff with your digital images uh, with the with the size and opacity so I'm gonna go back to the butterflies and then we're gonna do some other things we're just gonna add a filter on which is really kinda neat so you can see what you can do with that so I'm just gonna go off and set everything up and we're right back now if you're wondering where I'm getting these brushes from it's part of the brushes palette and I don't think well maybe you can see it I can't drag it down but here is here it is here and there's all kinds of different brushes this is under the special effect brushes so this is the butterfly I've chosen and I'm gonna make it a bit bigger and we're gonna fill this thing up with butterflies with reasonably big butterflies and doo -doo 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 -doo. it looks nice and colorful and then we're gonna go off and we're gonna grab a filter and and change this. I think we're gonna change this to stained glass which is what I was trying to remember earlier but I couldn't so we've got our that uh, stained glass here. So there is stained glass. Now I'm gonna have to move things around a bit so just bear with me okay there's stained glass of the butterflies and the neat thing about this uh, I can change it to this cracular grain mosaic tiles patchwork texturizer there's a bunch of other ones here as well um, colored pencil that's a colored pencil filter a cutout dry brush fresco neon glow there's all kinds of them here uh, that's just standard with elements uh, what else we got that's interesting I don't know what's diffuse glow glass ocean ripple and uh, okay we're going back to our stained glass I can change the cell size make them big remember these started off as butterflies make them small it's gonna run here change the thickness of the border way up or way down and we can change the lighting. You see how the lighting is brilliant in the center? I guess that uh, indicates the sunlight coming through a stained glass window. And we can go down here. So that's what you can do. You can have a lot of fun just playing around with your pen and uh, your tablet. It's just it's a great, great amount of fun. There's something else you can do. I don't know if I can find it quickly or not. Um, it's putting a uh, poster edges on there. No, that's not it. And we'll go back to stained glass if I can find it again. There it is. Okay. So, there you go. You can have a lot of fun with the pressure sensitivity of a Wacom pen and Adobe Photoshop elements. So, grab your pen, get elements open, and start fooling around. You don't have to work with this little tiny 320 by 240 file that I am for YouTube. You can work with big files and make all kinds of cool things. You can make cool backgrounds, have fun with them and you can use it in your digital editing as well. So I hope you've learned something here today and uh, stay tuned because I'm going to add a few more of these video tutorials for Elements and your Wacom tablet. So thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Come pay me a visit at my site someday. It's www.thegraphicstablet.com with uh, dashes between the and graphics and you'll see it at the last slide. So I appreciate it again and thank you for watching. Bye now.